respiratory system. It is also called as gas exchange system. It helps the body in getting rid of carbon dioxide and taking in oxygen. Carbon dioxide is a waste product which goes out of the body. Oxygen which the body needs comes in. The lungs are the main organs to do this. Breathing is the first step in respiration. The first step in this process is breathing in air or inhaling. Inhaling means bringing air rich in oxygen into the body. For respiration to happen, the body needs a constant supply of oxygen, which is done by breathing. Inhalation is the breathing in of air. To inhale, the lungs expand, decreasing the air pressure in the lungs. The diaphragm, which is a sheet of muscular tissue that separates the lungs from the abdomen, is pulled downward. Also, the muscles between the ribs contract to expand the chest. Both of these actions expand the lungs. Left lung is a bit smaller than the right lung to give space to the heart. The right lung has three sections. They are superior lobe, middle lobe and inferior lobe. The left lung has only two sections. They are superior lobe and inferior lobe. The respiratory tract is divided into two sections, the upper respiratory tract and the lower respiratory tract. These two sections are separated by the vocal cords. The upper respiratory tract include the nose and nasal cavity, the pharynx and the larynx. Air first passes through the nose and the mouth, then through the larynx or voice box, then down the trachea which is windpipe and into the lungs and comes out. The lower respiratory tract include the lower parts of larynx and the bronchi. The lower parts of larynx include the cricoid cotylus and the trachea. The trachea is a tube made of smooth muscle which brings air to the lungs. Many C-shaped pieces of cartilage surround the trachea to protect it and anchor it. The trachea then splits into two main bronchi. The bronchi are two tubes which carry air into the lungs. The main bronchi then split into smaller and smaller bronchi, which reaches out into all parts of the lungs like tree branches. Finally, the smallest bronchi, which are called as bronchioles, and in the alveoli. The air sacs are called as alveoli. They have large surface area and are moist, thin, and close to a blood supply. They have a very thin, wet walls, which are surrounded with a network of small blood vessels, which are called as capillaries. This allow gases to diffuse or move across the surface of alveolus. In an average human lung, there are around 480 million alveoli. The total surface area is around 75 square meters. The bronchi walls are made of cartilage. The right bronchus is shorter, wider, and straighter than the left bronchus. The second step is gas exchange, which occurs in the air sacs where oxygen is exchanged with carbon dioxide. Through the very thin walls of the alveoli, oxygen from the air passes into your blood in the surrounding capillaries. At the same time, carbon dioxide moves from the capillaries into the air sacs. This process of exchanging oxygen from carbon dioxide is called as gas exchange. The oxygen in your blood is stored inside your red blood cells by a protein called hemoglobin. 
The inhaled air has much greater concentration of oxygen than carbon dioxide while the blood flowing to the lungs has more carbon dioxide than oxygen. In humans, gas exchange happens in alveoli. Through this process, oxygen diffuses into the bloodstream from the air. The oxygen in the blood enters the circulatory system and is used by the cells in the body. The carbon dioxide in the air sacs are exhaled out of the body. The third process is cellular respiration, which breaks up sugars and produces the chemical energy that the cells in the body need. This happens in all forms of life. ATP is a chemical which the cell uses for energy. Usually, this process uses oxygen and is called as aerobic respiration. The carbon dioxide in the air sacs now need to be exhaled or breathed out. Exhaling is the reverse process to inhaling. The diaphragm and the rib muscles relax causing the lungs to be smaller and air is forced out. The exhaled air has a high concentration of carbon dioxide and a low concentration of oxygen. Carbon dioxide is a waste product made by respiration. Thank you very much.